Hi, I'm Kit Rich. Welcome to Kitchco. This is a 30 minute body weight routine, so you don't need any equipment, just yourself. It's got a little bit of fusion, but it's a whole lot of fun. This is my friend Giovanna. She's gonna be doing the modified, and this is my friend Richie. He's gonna be doing the more advanced with me. Are you ready to begin? Let's do it. Let's start your warm up. Take your legs wide, and we're gonna start with four big deep breaths to center your body, bending the legs. Inhale up, and exhale down, folding. Inhale up, and down. Two more. Last one. And taking it down. Good. Keeping your legs wide here, arms out to the side, reaching left hand down to the right foot. Stretch and back up. And exhale as you reach. Now, if you cannot touch your foot, it's okay to reach for your knee, whatever works for your body. It's also okay to soften your knees if need be. Last one here. And come on up and just start running in place, shaking out those hands, getting that blood flow going. Great time to set an intention for yourself. How do you want to feel today? What do you want to accomplish with me? Let's hold on to that throughout the entire routine. You're doing great. In five, four, three, two, and one. All right, starting at the back of your mat, you're going to take your arms up on a nice big inhale. And exhale, dive forward, hands to the floor. Now, if you need to soften your knees, go for it. You're gonna walk forward into your downward dog, lifting your hips up and back. So your hands are about shoulder width apart. You're trying to get your heels down as best as you can, really lifting your tailbone up and back. From here, you're gonna come forward into a plank position, shoulders right over your wrists, and then shoot yourself right back. And just continue like this, still warming up the back of the body, warming up the arms. Good, going at your own pace. Give me one more here. Hold your plank. Keeping your hips still, you're gonna tap the right knee to the mat, straighten it, left knee, and then one more time each. Go right, go left, and downward dog. Come back to your plank, repeat. Four times, right, left, right, Left, downward dog. Continue. And maybe get a little more fire going and pick up that pace. You're doing great. Let's go for one more set after this. Let's all get in sync, coming forward to your plank, run it out, going four, three, two, one, downward dog, hold. Take your left leg, float it up to the sky. And now from here, draw that knee in towards your chin as you come forward to a plank position and place that foot in between your hands. You wanna make sure that that leg is directly underneath your left shoulder. And now let's take your arms up to the sky, holding your lunge position. Good, from here, your back knee is gonna bend as your elbows go out to the side, and then bring it right back up. Going down to the floor, and back up. Going down, and up. Now stay with this for me. I want you to notice what Giovanna's doing. She's holding her knee in a, plank, uh, in a lunge position, and then bringing her hands down to give a little bit reprieve for her leg. So if this doesn't work for you, that is a great option. Continue for me, down and up. Now on this last one, I want you to hold it down halfway and then pulse that front leg. Arms are out to the side, so you're opening up that chest. You got it, give me five more. Five, four, three, two, hold it down. Place your hands to the floor. Step the left leg back. I want you to perform one tricep push-up, so elbows into the body, inhale down. Exhale up, and from here, plank jacks, jumping your legs out and in for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, downward dog, holding that. And again, coming forward, tap your knees four times, four, three, two, one, downward dog, continue like that.
but let's go for one more set here. And then hold your downward dog. This time your right leg is gonna float up. Bring the knee in towards the chin, hold it there, then place the foot in between the hands. And again, then bring your arms up to the sky. Your palms are facing forward, your back knee bends down towards the floor, and then up. Breathing here, and up, down, lift. Continue for me, let me check in. Now, notice what your front knee is doing. If when bending your back knee, your knee is going over your toes, you're going a little too far, you really wanna emphasize the bend of the back knee. You're also utilizing this opportunity to really open up the chest, work your back muscles here. So feel those elbows pull down your back. Good, let's go for a few more. And on this last one, hold it down and pulse it. Give me five more here. Now hold it, bring your hands to the floor. This time, two tricep push-ups. Ready? And go. One and two. Hold your plank, jump out and in for plank jacks. You have eight of them. Give me four more. And downward dog. Holding that there, walk your hands back to your feet. Bend your legs, chair pose, arms up to the sky. Now, having your arms up feels bad for your back. Bring your hands into a prayer position. Now lift just your right heel up for me and pulse your legs. <sighs> Breathing here. Good, you have about 10 seconds. You're doing great. Now hold it, prayer position. I want you to switch heels and switch heels again, running it out. Lift and lift. Can you get lower? Now as you're pushing your hands together, your shoulders should pull back with your chest up. Looking good. Five, four, three, two, last one. And dive forward. Stretching that out, soften your knees, roll yourself back up, coming to stand, right leg is lifted up in front of you. Now I want you to connect the leg into the other one. So the foot is connected into the leg. The arms are out like this. Imagine as though you're holding two plates of food. Find your balance, abs in tight. Now the knee opens and so do the arms. And then close and open and close. Now if you're having any issues with balance, you keep the foot on the floor, but you can stay on your toes there. Really nice. Finding that strength there in that standing leg. Give me one more. And then take the right leg, step it back, arms up. Standing pipe, go, kick it up. Now in this move, you want to contract the upper body. So it's not just the arms. Think of the abs doing the work here as you lift the leg up and the hands hit. You're doing awesome. Last one. Hold your right leg back, lean forward, arms out. Lift the right leg up, hold warrior three. Now, if this bothers your back to have your arms out to the side, place your hands in a prayer position or on your hips. You can also choose to keep your right leg down if that feels better for you. Just holding that there, finding your balance. Can you lift the leg up a little bit more? In three, two. Now stay where you are, place your hands to the floor. I want you to stay right there. I'm gonna ask my friends to turn so that you guys can see what we're doing. You're now gonna walk forward into a plank position, tucking the right knee into the chin, holding that there and circle the right knee. Circle it around. Good, keep going. And then reverse that. You wanna keep those shoulders right over the wrist, your hips are down. Five seconds here. And downward dog. And walk back to your toes. Come back to chair pose, arms up, lift your left heel, and pulse. 
sit back, get low, and be mindful. You want to keep your abs and ribs in. So even with your arms up by your ears, you're not dropping down. You have that lift of the chest. Hold that there, bring your hands to prayer, and run it out. Lift your right and your left. Pushing into your hands to keep your chest up, working those legs. Really good. In four, three, two, one more, and then come to stand. Good, from here, doing the same deal, left leg lifts up, arms in front of you, and then open out and close in. Out and in. This is purely for balance, right? So if you're finding that you're having a hard time with this, that when the knee goes out, it's taking you off balance, what a great thing to learn about yourself, right? Something to work on. No judgment. You're just trying it out. Really good. Give me two more here. And last one. Now step that leg back, arms up, and kick the leg up. Hike it up. So you'll notice Giovanna's not straightening her leg out all the way. She's doing it with a bent leg. Great option. Now, you want to try to keep that left leg straight, though, if you are doing the more advanced, because you are looking for that hamstring stretch. Abs in tight, please. Crunch that upper body. You got this. Good, give me a few more. Moving into warrior three, hold, and come up, balance. Now stay there for me. Try to become parallel to the floor. So upper body goes down more, back leg lifts up a little bit more. You don't have to have your arms out to the side. You can have them in your hips or in prayer position with your back leg down. Whatever's helping you stay balanced, stay in that. Holding, bring your hands down to the floor, hold. We're gonna adjust ourselves, stay right where you are. And then from here, walk forward into a plank position, pulling the left knee in, and big circles of the knee. Good. Very focused here. Try to make that movement as big as you can. Now reverse it. Keep your butt down for me. And downward dog. Holding your downward dog, taking a few breaths here. Trying to get your heels down as much as you can. Really push that floor away. And from here, we're gonna repeat similar to what we did at the front. You come forward to your plank, but this time, both knees tap together. One, two, three, four, and back. So you'll notice the Giovanna is still doing the single leg, coming forward, because that is a great modified option. And just going at your own pace. What you wanna make sure of is that you're not dipping into your lower back, that your tailbone is under, so that you're supporting the movement. You have one more here. and then downward dog. Left leg floats up to the sky. Draw the knee in towards the chin as you come forward, place the foot in between your hands. Hold that there, but this time spin your back heel down. So your heels are lined up with each other, heel to heel. Your back toes are turned in as though they're facing the right top corner of the mat. Pull your abs in, elongate your spine, bring your arms up to the sky, holding it there. Now you're gonna take your arms out like a goal post and close your fists. Now straighten out your front leg. And then as you bend the knee, close the elbows, exhale. Inhale, open, exhale, close. And just continue at your own pace. You'll notice that the back heel is gonna wanna lift. You wanna try to, cut, try to keep that heel down, fight for that stretch. Good, give me a few more here. Last one, hold it, take your arms up, stretch, and then hands to the floor. This time your arms are wide on the mat. Step back into a plank position, 
So arms are wider than your chest. Give me one push up here. And then on the way up, eight mountain climbers go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, downward dog. Walk your hands in a little bit, feel that stretch. And come back forward to your plank, tapping both knees down four times. Go one, two, three, four, and back. And just continue like that. Good. Now imagine as though I'm holding your abs up like you're wearing a belt. Let's do two more rounds. One more. Good. Downward dog. Hold. Right leg shoots up to the sky. Come forward into your plank. Draw the knee in and place that foot in between your shoulder. Now taking your back foot, drop it down onto its side. Now remember, your left toes are towards the front corner of the mat. Heel down, draw your chest forward, arms up. And then arms come to two goal posts, straighten out the front leg, and bend, close the elbows, exhale. Inhale, open, exhale, close. Keep going at your own pace. How you feeling? Very different pace for me normally, right? You'll be pleasantly surprised that we do have a cardio burst coming up very soon. <laughs> so if you're really enjoying this, get ready because you're gonna enjoy it a little bit more soon. Give me one more here. Hold this, take the arms up, hands to the floor. Step back into your plank position with your arms wide. Two push-ups this time, go. One, two, eight mountain climbers. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one, and downward dog. This time to cap this off, you're gonna walk back towards your toes. Keep your feet hip width apart, bend your legs. Chair pose, but with your hands in prayer position. Again, lift your right heel, switch again, switch again, switch again, hold. Can you lift your right heel up to join? find your balance. Now, if that's too hard today, both heels stay down, just like Giovanna showed. And if you can, start to pulse down. Pulse, can you keep those heels up? Whoa, I almost lost my balance. Stay in it. You got it. Going five, four, three, two, come to stand. Nice work. So that completes the little yoga fusion section. We're now gonna go into a cardio burst. We're gonna do each move, 20 seconds each but three times, so a total of three minutes on the clock. Starting with Kit Jacks, are you ready? Legs cross one forward in front of the other. In three, two, and go, cross. Now if you wanna get your arms going, feel free. I like to open and close them here. <sighs> 10 seconds. Next up we have side step to a jump. Follow me, in three, two, one, hop to one side, jump. Hop to the other side, jump. Yeah, Richie, you got it. Ooh, you can jump. I'm a little jealous right now. He's so good. Yes! Four, three, two, one, and kick butt, go. I almost forgot what that last move was. It's like, wait, what am I doing? Oh, that's right, Kit. You're kicking your own butt. You ready to do that again? No break. Stay with me. We got kick jacks. In three, two, one, go. Cross. Open, close. 10 seconds here. And this next one, I'm just gonna hide behind Richie because he does it too well. Here we go, ready? And go, hop, up. Very nice, you'll notice that Giovanna is not hopping. She's reaching up, coming off her heels into a little calf raise. Woo! Get ready, coming up, five seconds. We got booty kicks. Last one, and go, booty kick. Catch your breath, calm yourself. Very different than that yoga, right? You got one more round. 
The cardio's done and we're on the floor. Ready? Five. And here we go. Go. Finish it. Yay. Remind yourself, feels good to feel like this. Feels good to feel. Breathe. 10 seconds. I'm gonna call this next move the Richie move. Here we go, ready? And go. Hop. Up. How high can you go? 10 seconds. Coming up. We got the butt kicks. Last one here. And kick your butt. Go, breathe. Get that stretch for the quads. Flex your feet. Chest up, look at me. Look at me, you can do it. You're doing great. Eight seconds. Five, four, three, two, breathe. Ooh, nice work. Okay, you guys, let's come down to the floor. Yay! On to all fours. So, heart rate is up. We're still good to go. Your head should still be above your heart. All right, so from here, we're gonna take that left leg and we're gonna kick it back. Ready, go, kick it back. And bend in and kick it back. And just continue like that. Now, same leg, yeah, left leg. So, if you're looking for a little more variety, your right arm is gonna go behind your back. Ready, and hold. Now, can you continue working the leg with that? Very nice. Now from here, let's add. Kick it back, the leg goes down, kick up, bend it back in. Push back, down, up, bend it back in. You may decide that you need to place your right hand back down onto your mat. Totally fine. Coming up, hold the leg at the top. Take your right arm, come down onto your right forearm. So notice now, I'm on my left hand and on my right forearm. Swing the left leg out to the side. And then take that leg, place it behind the right leg. Swing it out to the left and place it down. Swing, exhale. Keep going. Woo! Like I said, this routine is a whole lot of a whole lot. You guys are doing great. What I'm looking for is control and focus and breath. Five seconds here. Now, take the left leg Take it down to the corner of the mat. So if you don't have the mat, just think that it's just outside of your hip. I want you to flex the foot, and I want you to float it up. So it's just outside of your left hip. I want you to bend the knee, soft bend, then straighten. Tiny bend, and straighten. What you're imagining here is that you're trying to push a door open with that left heel, and it's tough. So you're giving it energy. But notice that I'm soft in my knee, right? I'm not yanking my knee straight, soft push, so that I'm really squeezing my outer thigh as I do this. Can you get the leg up even higher? Woo! When I start to feel things, I make that exact noise. That you can count on. You got it. Give me 10 seconds. And then we're gonna go right into the other leg. and drop it down. Nice work, come on up. Right leg begins, no break. Kick it back and bring it in. Now as you're doing this move, you wanna be mindful that your hips are not rocking side to side, they stay pointed down. Your core is pulled up to brace this. And then if you did it on the other side, let's take that left hand, the opposite, 
behind your back. Lifting out of the shoulders, especially if you only have one hand down. Do not sink into that shoulder. Can you focus on your glute more? Let's add the component of down up and bend it back in. Push out, down up, and bend it back in. Keep going. I just had to remind myself to lift out of my shoulder. Last one. Come down onto your left forearm, take the leg behind, swing it out to the right, go. Goes down, swing it out. Good, so hopefully you're seeing this from a different angle right now. You can see the stability of my upper body. You can see the stability of my hips as I just swing my leg. So I'm not dipping down into my lower back. Everything stays still. When you're swinging the leg out to the side, try to keep it in line with your shoulder. Last one. Now take the leg down to the corner of the mat. Flex the foot, lift the leg up, tiny bend, push it straight, squeeze. Tiny bend, squeeze. Keep going for me. This one is super specific. I need you to imagine as though my hands are tapping your outer thigh. Because when the leg goes straight, that is the exact spot that you should be pinching and squeezing with your mind. Now also imagine as though my hand is behind your heel and you're trying to press into my hand. Remember, softness in the knee. It's the heel and the glute. You have 10 seconds here. Ooh, can you get that leg up a little bit higher? It hurts. You're doing great. This is it, almost there. Let's go for two more. Last one and relax. Beautiful work. Let's lie down onto your back. We are gonna finish with the classical Pilates series of five. And then, you know, you're done. Come on down. <laughs> okay, so from here, you're gonna hug your right knee into your body. Now, if you wanna get very specific, the outer hand is reaching to the toes. But if that's too confusing, just hold on to the knee. Extend the left leg out. Come into a crunch position. If this bothers your neck, please feel free to keep your head down. And from here, switch. And then switch. So you'll notice my outside hand is reaching to the outside of my foot. Again, if that's too confusing, just hold on to the knee with both hands. Hold down into the abs. Two more. One more each. And then hug both knees, rest your head. Hugging those knees in, feeling the hip stretch. Now lift your head back up to your knees. And from here, both legs extend out as the arms go back by the ears. Hold that position. Only the arms circle around <laughs> as you hug your knees. I just whacked Richie, did you see that? And arms go back and then circle around. Hold, keep going. Feel your back planted and then circle. Two more. And circle, one more and then hug your knees, rest your head. From here, take your right leg up, grab behind the leg gently with both hands. Try not to grab behind the knee, it's more the quad, and then if you're super flexible, grab the calf muscle, extending the left leg, hovering over the floor. Come into a crunch position. The right leg is gonna pulse in twice. One, two, then switch. One, two. Try to keep your back leg as still as you can as you're just pulsing in that top leg. Shoulders down, away from the ears. Pulse, pulse, then switch, pulse, pulse. Hold this last one. Bring both legs up, Pilates V. Now, you can stay holding on to the backs of your legs if that feels good. Your heels are together, your toes are apart. If you want to, to make it harder, hands go behind your head. Stay in the crunch position, the legs go down a few inches, up a few inches. Make this one really small, so you're really isolating in your lower abs. You're doing great. Can you squeeze your heels together a little bit more? Let's do three more, a little extra than normal. Definitely a little extra than classical. Last one. And then bend the legs, and let's go for bicycle crunches to finish. 
twisting and twisting. This one's a quick set, just wringing out everything we just did. Let's go for three more each side. And two, and one, and relax. Final move, flipping over onto your stomach. I want your arms back behind you. You can have your palms facing down or facing up. I prefer them facing up. Your feet are hip width apart. From here, you're gonna reach your fingertips back so much that you start to lift your chest up. Holding that there. If you can, take your arms up as well. If you can, take your legs up as well. Final hold for 10. Last five, four, three, two, and relax. Sitting back into a child's pose. Knees go wide. Sit back onto your heels and extend your arms forward and take a breath. Coming up onto your hands and your knees for cat-cow. Shoulders directly over your wrists, round your spine, scoop up. And then arch your back. Two more, scoop. And down. Last one. And down. Come to lie down onto your back for threading the needle to open up your hips. Taking your right heel, crossing it over your left knee with flexed feet. Grab behind your left leg, pulling it into your body. If that doesn't feel good for you, you can keep your left leg down and just place your right hand onto your right knee, pushing that knee away. And breathe. And switch. Left heel crosses over the right knee, flexed both feet. As the right knee draws in, the left knee pushes away from the body. And release that down. Stay on your back, soles of your feet together, letting your knees widen, placing one hand onto your chest, one hand onto your stomach, closing your eyes and breathing. Staying there. Notice the inhalation, feeling the chest rise and the stomach rise, and then noticing it drop. One more big breath. And letting it drop. Staying there with your eyes shut. Silently expressing gratitude to yourself, to your body, for doing this beautiful work. Thank you for joining me. You did great. See you next time.